Hello, this is Alyssa, and today we have a new type of video. As you probably know, if you've been watching this channel, along with being a frequent Among Us player, I am also a developer for the Among Us mod Seller Rolls, along with Stell and Fluff. So, I thought I'd take you through the development process of a small feature. Since I play this mod several times a week with different groups, this puts me in a unique position. If I'm annoyed by something, I can usually find a way to fix it. As long as Stell and Fluff also agree, it can be very rewarding to be able to fix things that annoy you. While playing an Among Us game on Friday, I realized that I should add something to stop my own cringe behavior. Among Us has several information sources like cameras, vitals, and admin table that can be crucial to solving a game. Admin table in particular show how many people are in each room across the map. However, if you are on those information sources early, the game can be over before it's even began. The information that you can get from cams and admin table can sometimes just solve the game instantly. It's actually really scummy. I don't want to... Check out the table right away. That's just a habit. I should turn it off like the first round or something. We already have a feature in place for some information sources where the host can set the amount of tasks you need to do before you can use them. But right now, we don't have that feature for scaled or polis admin table. So today, we are going to be adding a way for the host to configure how many tasks you need to do before you can access scaled and polis admin table. This should help prevent people from camping information sources early game and encourage them to get tasks done as fast as possible. So the mission, stop people from being cringe on admin table on Polis and Skeld. We are going to do this by adding a setting where a host can set how many tasks a player has to do before they can access admin table on either map. We also want to ensure that rule only applies to alive crewmates. Imposters, neutrals, and ghosts should be able to check admin table at their leisure. When adding a new feature to any type of game, you have to make sure to test it thoroughly. We don't want to break any of the already existing functionality and cell rules, as that will annoy the users. We also want to make sure the new feature works for several different in-game scenarios. So, what tests will this feature need to pass before we can say that it's complete? The feature will only be complete when it passes four tests. The first test, make sure a crewmate cannot check admin table before completing the specified number of tasks. The second test, Make sure a crewmate can check admin table after finishing the number of specified tasks. The third and fourth tests are to make sure that the ghost can check admin table whenever and also non-crewmates can check admin table at any time. So let's get started developing this new feature. First, we need to add a menu setting where the host can set how many tasks a crewmate has to complete for each map. Next, we need to modify the can use admin table method. This method is called anytime a player tries to access admin table. Before making any modifications, I'm going to make a copy of the original method so I can reference back while I am coding the feature. Also, the code has administrator commented, so I might need to figure out what to do with that later. The code is relatively easy to write. We already have a check in the method that will automatically give non-crewmates and ghosts admin table access for every map. So we just need to reconfigure the code a bit to compare the task the crewmate has done to the amount of tasks required to access admin table for each different map. Also, we want to make sure the code is clean and relatively easy to understand as to not annoy fluff. To test our changes, we have to create our own Among Us lobby. This means I usually open four to five different copies of Among Us to meet the minimum lobby requirements. The lobby of the NWG's worst nightmare. Then we can begin our first test of the feature. We set the number of tasks in the settings, then we start a game to test it out. So we just need to do our first check to make sure that admin table cannot be accessed until you've completed a task. Right now, I have one task to complete before I should be able to access admin table. Because I have done no tasks, that means I should not be able to access admin table. Well, that didn't work. So we can check the log to see if we get any new errors. There are no new errors though, just the usual expected errors. So we go back and clean up the code a bit and add some logs to the method. These logs should hopefully give us insight into the code while it is running. Okay, attempt number two, it still does not work. The logs also have no information. So I decide to check Mira, a map where we already had the feature working perfectly. It is working just fine. Why would it work on Mira but not on Skeleton Polis when we have the exact same code? Also, why aren't the logs giving any details? It seems like it's not even calling the new code. Wait, oh. Well, I guess we weren't calling the new code. We were calling the copy of the code we made as our first step. So now we can fix that and try our tests again. With no tasks done, I should not be able to access admin table. And I can't access it 
Yay. Now after I do swipe card, I should be able to access admin table. And now it is working perfectly. We can now go through and do a thorough test of the feature on each map. Everything is working beautifully. We even test airship as a sanity check because we haven't made any changes to airship admin table. So then we can clean up the code and push it to GitHub and get Fluff to review it. But wait, remember that code comment I saw earlier that I was like, that's a future Alyssa problem. Well, I should probably check that out to make sure I don't break anything. The mod seller rules has many different rules to make the game more interesting for crewmates and imposters. The role administrator that is mentioned in the comment is a crewmate role that has access to admin table. They get time on admin table for every task they complete. So having this role affected by the task minimum is a little bit unfair because it already has anti-cringe safeguards in place. So for now, we will just make this check not apply to administrator. We do one final test to make sure that our change where the rules don't apply to administrator works and then voila, we're done. We can push it to GitHub and now it's Fluff's problem. Overall, this wasn't too hard of a feature to add. The whole process took me about an hour and that's because I made some silly mistakes. It really shouldn't have taken that long. Anyway, I hope you found this video helpful and let me know if you want to see more videos like this. I wanted to test out this style on an easier feature just so that I could make sure that it worked out before I invested a lot more time. So comment if you want to see more videos like this. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Join the Cellar Rolls Discord for more information about Cellar Rolls. Join my Discord if you like talking about Among Us. And make sure to return tomorrow for another video and subscribe.